Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can get a gen generator notification whenever there is a change in your call center. Okay, so lots of times you might change, you might block something or you change the description and all those things. How you can get a notification when the cost center has been changed, okay? Because cost center is very important because that be at the cost of lots of things. Okay, so first thing we have to go is go to workflow EFTC, that's the transaction code, and we create a workflow. So I go to workflow template and I'll just put uh, name EST11 and I'll say cost center change. Okay. So here I'll just create, click on create and I'll just give a name workflow for notification of cost center change. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so here I'll just give a thing and here uh, first thing I'll click on save. Okay. Once I hit the save, it will ask for uh, transport or package. I'll create it local. You can create it as a transport sub to you. So now here I'll go to the container. This is very important. And I click on create. So create, I'll put cost uh, center. Copy it uh, here and put business object type as bus 0012. Okay, I'll make sure in the properties I make it import export and here you can see cost center. It is, okay, I'll click on the green arrow. Okay, and now I'll hit the save button. Now I'll go to the triggering event. Okay, this is important. Here I'll select your object. Here I'll put uh, bus 0012 and the event is, let me see, the event is changed. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, the, the moment I put these things, okay, now I'll hit the enter. <clears throat> so now we have hit an enter and I'll see the binding here. Okay, the binding is from the event to the workflow, event object, cost center, and event created to workflow. That's perfect for me. So now I'll enable this event linkage. Okay, so this is important. We'll ask for a customization request, which is fine. I'll just select one and I'll hit the green arrow. Okay, now this will be green. This is green. Now what I'll go to do for just best practice, we'll put the cost center name here also. Okay, so I'll put cost center number. Okay, cost center. Okay, that's it. And I'll hit the save button. That's it. After this, we go to Workflow Builder. Okay, pretty easy. We go to Workflow Builder, and here, the moment was Workflow Builder, we're going to create a step for sending an email. Okay. So let's see. There I am. Okay. Now we are going to click on Create. Okay. Click on Create. And we'll put send email and we'll put a so here I'll just for the heck I'll just put for oh, I'll put an email address okay so what I can do here organization object I'll put email you shouldn't put here but I'll put an email but you know <clears throat> I'm just testing it so what I can see I'll put ABC at gmail.com and here I'll say Cost center. Uh, this I'll put <clears throat> the name. I'll put as being changed. Okay. And here I can put some more details in the body. That's the subject. And before this, this is the body. I can find a person who is changed it. Like a water initiator. So here I will select workflow initiator. That's it. So here it comes. I hit the green arrow and I need to give a name ESP11. <clears throat> I just give mail not uh, mail notification for for cost center. Okay, 
again you you want to create a transportable object you can do whatever you want you can put a uh, package and now that's it activate okay now the workflow has been created now we are going to test it how you are going to test it so what is the transaction to go to cost center find the cost center there is the cost center and now see here is management i'll put some test uh one two three i don't know i'll put a control probably i'll put this plan this one and i'll click on save so now this has been saved let's go and check whether the workflow got triggered on display we go to display <clears throat> okay and we go to workflow workflow overview I think when it takes time, that is the workflow has been triggered. Okay, so here you can see the workflow log. The workflow has triggered, and you can see this has generated a notification. Now, where we will check the notification, actual one, we go to SOST. Okay, that's the SAP gateway. Okay, and from here you can see this is the notification that has been generated, and here you can see has been changed. So this way you can create a notification whenever a call center has been changed. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it because there's something new for learning coming your way.